Hey YouTube Nation, how y'all doing? Uh, I'm finally coming out of hibernation. I mean, it's been pretty damn cold on the shores of Lake Erie. And uh, uh, it's been so cold, I haven't been able to shoot. Obviously not able to make any videos. Well, finally, we got a break. It feels like spring. I uh, got the camera out. Got a new pistol uh, to uh, have you guys get a accuracy report on. I didn't buy this for myself. I think you guys know that uh, I'm uh, I'm a Glock guy. Uh, my Glock 26, I, I've pretty much given up on looking for a small replacement gun for that 26 only because I can't find anything that'll touch that Glock in terms of accuracy and reliability. So, But I, I'll tell you what, uh, my wife uh, she's uh, sort of bugging me she wants to do some uh, shooting this summer so I went to the nation and looked at what the young ladies and what the women are shooting uh, and uh, the SIG P238 is getting some pretty good reports especially I guess the women like it it's light it's easy to carry uh, I guess a lot of women are using this for carry uh, protection uh, and it, it's a neat little gun uh, I was impressed so I'm going to take it to the range, uh, I'm going to do an accuracy report on it, and I'll see you guys when I get back. Okay, we got the SIG P238 at 7 yards. I'm going to take my time between shots to see what this gun's capable of. I'll tell you what, for a little pocket pistol, that's not too bad. Uh, trigger takes some practice with to be capable of doing this, though, I'll tell you that. I'm going to speed it up a little bit at 7 yards with the SIG P238. That trigger actually is pretty nice in rapid fire because it's consistent and that's all you can ask out of a uh, pistol when it has a consistent trigger. Okay, I'm going to let everything fly with a seven round mag at seven yards.
Seven rounds, let it fly, see what you can hit. We all have our limitations and I know mine. Okay, let's see if the SIG P238 is capable of headshots at 25 yards. Well, there you go. Uh, the little SIG is capable of headshots at 25 yards. Uh, the trigger doesn't make it very conducive to real accurate shooting. I think the gun's more accurate than the trigger allows it to be. But this is a pretty neat little gun. Okay, I'm going to speed it up. I'm going to do a seven round clip at 25 yards on the body. YouTube Nation, what do you think of this little SIG? I, I put about 250 rounds through this gun, mostly of the 95 grain American Eagle full metal jacket. But I put 25 rounds of the Hornady 90 grain XTP and 25 rounds of the 90 grain Hydroshock Federals just to check for functionality. And I'll tell you what, I got a good report. Uh, absolutely zero problems, 250 rounds through the gun, no malfunctions. That's the way it should be. I give this SIG an A plus in terms of functionality. Trigger, you guys know, if you, if you looked at my videos, there's only one thing I got to say about this trigger. It sucks. It sucks. But you know what? I don't mind the hard trigger if it's consistent, and it is consistent. It doesn't have any creep to it, and so as long as it goes when it's supposed to, I can adjust to that, but I still think the trigger sucks. Uh, it actually took me probably 100 rounds just to get comfortable with this gun, <clears throat> and I say that only because, again, you guys know I'm a Glock guy. Uh, 90% of my shooting is done with my Glock, so for me, for me to transition to a small gun like this, I have fairly good sized hands. I just had a hard time finding a comfortable grip where I could shoot it accurate. I mean, I could shoot it, but I want to just blast away, but I, everything I try and do is give you guys accuracy reports. What is the gun capable of? Uh, so it took me about 100 rounds to figure it out. Finally, I got a grip on it uh, where I was hitting point of aim like it should be and after that I managed to shoot some pretty decent groups seven yards and the gun functions well even out to 25 yards and, I, and I'm, I'm of the mindset that <clears throat> any handgun should be able to handle something out to 25 yards I know a lot of guys think that these little pocket pistols are only made for five and seven yards well <clears throat> I got news for you if this thing only shot well at the seven yards I would uh, I would get rid of it <clears throat> I give the gun an A+. Plus. Now is it perfect? No. And I'm going to go into my next segment and tell you why it's not perfect. Now this is the only problem I found with this gun. Now you can work around it, but it's still a problem in my eyes. I've got a topped off 
seven round magazine. I've got the Hornady uh, XTP hollow points. And if you top this mag off, and you go to rack or slide, look what happens. And it does it every time. Every time. Now, let me put a disclaimer up. First of all, I'm in my basement. <clears throat> I don't like messing around with live ammo either, but it's the only way I can make my point. My wife's not home. My dog's with her. I'm the only one in the house. I'm in my basement, so if it goes off, it's going to hit a cement wall. But to, prove, to show you what's going on here, and I think you guys should be uh, uh, aware of this, uh, that's what it does. Now, you know what's weird about this? If you double clutch this slide, it feeds. It feeds. Now, their six round magazine topped off. I have federal hollow points in that. Let me make sure this is clear. Topped off six round magazine. Pull the slide. Hell, it went through that time. But I have had actually the six round mag do the same thing. The only thing I can tell you, if you're a guy now, who would be concerned about this? I happen to know guys that carry their guns in what they call condition three. Full mag, nothing in the chamber. Well, guess what? If you carry a full mag and either the six round, now that six round worked that time, but most of the time it doesn't. And it has something to do with the angle of that bullet, I guess. But I'm just warning you to be careful of that. Other than that, the gun f functions 100%. There's, there's ways to get around that, but I just want you guys to know about that. <clears throat> now with the American Eagle full metal jacket, no problem. You can put, you can top off the six round and a seven mag, a seven, six round and a seven round mag, and you will not have a problem topping off the mag and, and open up and closing the slide on it. So I wanted you guys to know about that. Uh, I hope you like the review. Uh, my next reviews are going to be on some 22s with the uh, inability to buy ammunition. Uh, I'm not a 22 guy, but I invested in some 22s because I think that's the only... I, I bought about 7,000 rounds of 22 ammo, and I'm glad I did. Because right now, I don't know about you guys, but if you want to go buy 9mm, even 380 or 45, I cannot find a bit. I loaded up on nine millimeters, so I have a pretty good supply. But as far as <clears throat> 380, what I have right here is all I've got. So uh, I'm going to be doing some 22 reports, and I might have some uh, pretty amazing stuff for you there. So I'm off for now.